Three weeks have passed since Russia started its war on Ukraine. And for Luda Kostik, each day brings a new fear. Ukraine is a beautiful uh, country. Um, people are very hard workers. Luda was born and raised in Ukraine. She was there for 30 years until she decided to leave the country and become a nurse in Albuquerque. I still have my kids in Ukraine and I have to go. My parents still alive and they, they are still in Ukraine and I have to help them as well. Like her, Luda's son Pavlo lives in the Duke City. She says he was setting to be a nurse, but recent events changed his plans. He has to drop school and go to Ukraine because he has seven years old daughter who had two open heart surgeries and the mom couldn't couldn't take her to the border because it was so crowded. As for Luda, she spends her time collecting a variety of donations. She sent 15 boxes so far. We put in on the boxes like medical supply or kids stuff, pumpers or clothes or like necessarily because people lost uh, everything. Just days ago, Luda collected these posters, each with powerful messages of what's going on. And you see these barcodes? This takes you from your phone directly to websites here where charities are currently helping in Ukraine. All to help those who need it the most. I'm looking for the information how we can help there. Reporting in Albuquerque, Brianna Albizu, KOAT Action 7 News.